How long does it usually take someone to figure out what they want to do? It's amazing that there's so many people who once they get out of high school they realize exactly what they want to do so that they can pick what to go to college for and have everything all nice and planned out. And then there are the people like me who have no idea what to do. I got out of school a while ago and for about a year I've been thinking about what it is that I would want to go to college for. Seeing as I'm limited, I would only go to the one that's on the island, but and that's not much to choose from. My choices are very limited as to what to take there, but I'm getting so much different kinds of pressure from my mom and a little from my boyfriend. His is intentional, though. I mean, unintentional, not intentional. But unintentional. Because he just randomly brings it up. And it probably has nothing to do with the fact that I'm not in college, but he brings it up all the time when I joke around and call him stupid just because he does something or says something silly and he says, hey, I'm the one in college. You know, it's one of those little jabs that people do to put others that they're speaking to in their place. I'm guilty of that with him too sometimes, so I don't really blame him that much. Sometimes we unconsciously seek revenge on people. But, back to what I was talking about. I still have no idea what I would want to go to college for. It amazes me, but I actually don't know what I'm good at. I really don't. I don't even... Sometimes when I try to think about it, I don't even know what I like to do. As a hobby. I wanted to collect, like, whips and daggers or knives or whatever. But I don't know how I could turn that into anything. I guess it could be a dominatrix, but that would be kind of awkward. I don't know. I don't think I could do that. I don't think my boyfriend would like me doing that. I don't think he'd like knowing I was with some other person fulfilling out their sexual fantasy. Even though dominatrix never really has sex with their clients, it's still a sexual thing, and I, I would feel a little comfortable too. Sorry about the bad lighting. It's just late now, and I don't feel like putting a light over here by Hank so that you can see him. I probably should have given him a different name. Because... I don't even try to make a more manly voice until he probably sounds gay. I think I'll make him gay. Maybe. Might as well rabbits hump everything, don't they? I wish I could take him out of that hat. Well, I did. Kind of, but he was still attached. So it looked kind of weird. I do it now, but I don't have anything to put the camera on so that you get a good shot of him. I turned him inside out once too and that was kind of awkward. Ever since I started watching Robin Big, it kept saying awkward. I noticed that Rob says it a lot. Awkward. I always have a certain word that I can't stop saying for like a long period of time until a new one comes around that I start saying like religiously after like almost everything. Right now it's the word awkward. Before I would say neat a lot. I'm still saying neat, but not as much as awkward. I just say arg a lot and gruff and yes -um. But now it's just awkward. Quotation. And saying awkward a lot is awkward. 
probably is a little irritating. I used to say spiffy a lot too. I see my soda down the stairs, but I'm too late to go get it. That and because I have the camera on right now, so it would be a little weird. Why does my hand keep making the camera go towards something else? I'm trying to focus on Hank, and then all of a sudden it's like, hey, dresser? No, Hank. Hank looks a little orange, doesn't he? Which is odd, because right now, not on camera that I'm looking at him, he doesn't look orange at all. Maybe my camera's on a weird filter or something. Weird setting, not filter. Or is it filter? I don't know. I doubt myself a lot. 